What up everyone, Satem Ali here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, why is money so important? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What a beautiful day here in Southern California. Was up at the gym by about 6.15. Took my boys to school, made them breakfast, helped prep their lunches. Like, you know, in my home, in the kitchen, right, the boys just, they com- they're competitive. One wants to tell the other what to do. The other wants to raise his voice. And they're like, all of a sudden, it's like this full-on warfare in the kitchen. And I'm like, hey, guys, come on now. And I got to calm it down, hugs and kisses. And I want to make sure before we leave, like, I solidify that, look, we can we can have our disagreements. There might be some arguments. There is going to be some egos. But before we leave the home, we're going to hug and pray. We're going to hug it up. We're going to kiss it up. We're going to pray it up. And I dropped my kids off at school, and we left on just a high... Because you got it. Look, it's not about being in a perfect home. It's never about perfection. It's about progression, right? Progression, not perfection. So, look, that's not the point of this podcast. That's my morning. It's a beautiful day. I I can't wait. I got a call in uh, 15 minutes. I'm going to jump on. And the reason I'm on this this podcast is there's this question, which is, why is money so important? Do we really need money? Have you ever asked that question? Like, what's the purpose? Is it, you know, I got to get up, I got to go to school, homework, or I got to go to my job, or I got to build my business, got to market, got to sell, got to knock doors, got to make phone calls, got to do my, my work on the computer, you know, blah, 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 and then I got to make money, then I got to pay bills, then I got to go to the softball game, then my kids get, like, life is this, cr- like, almost can be, it can be crazy if you lack perspective. And one of the biggest things that's been on my mind lately has been the role of money in the world. Is money important? How important is it? Should it be the center? Is it the end game? You know, should I strive to have $20 billion? Is it that important? Or is there something more than just being focused on money? And I want to just smash that. Look, I talk, call this the daily revolution, right? Your daily revolution. This What is the revolution? It is a movement of prosperity. It is about seeing your role in the world different not just as a taker and as someone who's got to get his or hers, but seeing your role as a contributor. But, but here's the thing about the revolution. It's where you actually view the role of money for what it really is. Not as the end game. Like money is not the end game. You got to know that. Anyone who's ever said, my goal is to make all this money, they don't get it. And they're on this journey that has a zero win possibility because money does not make you happy. Yes, money is important. Yes, I'm going to smash a lot of the the myths and fallacies. But what's the role of money? Money is merely a tool to help more people. Money is the byproduct or the result of creating value in the marketplace. And so the more money you have, That means that you helped more people. And the more people you help, the more money you make. The more money you make, the more you utilize that tool called money to make a difference, to help more people. This is the role of money inside of the prosperity revolution. Which means what? You've got to go make money. Yes, you do. If you have this paradigm of, you know, I'm just going to follow my passion. And you don't grow your skills. You don't grow your ways to your means to communicate. You lose. So recently, I had this massive insight about the role of money. Look, I've always had this battle and struggle with it. Why? Because deep in my heart, you know what Satema wants to do? I want to make a difference. I want to touch people's lives. I want to inspire the youth, right, teenagers and young adults to go after their dreams and to dream big and to want to go change the world and do whatever it is that their heart says, I want that. Like Satema has no desire to go be a, a pilot on an airplane. That does, do, that does nothing for me. But what Satema does desire is to walk into a room to sit with youth or elementary kids or athletes, professional athletes or financial wealth advisors. I want to sit with people and help them see what it is that they are not seeing. I want to help them to be who they're not being so they could actually live their greatest lives. And the greatest life for everyone is so individual. It's so relative. 
for some of their greatest life is to get up, to have their job, to, to just do the, the, the mechanical, the routine for the next 30, 35 years. For some people, their, their heart says, I want to go right, make billions because my company is a supplement company and we're going to go change people's lives through health. For some people, it's being a musician and being on Broadway or being an actor. Whatever that thing is for you, you got to go do it. And what's the role of money? Just stop denying it. Stop arguing with it. Like money is very important today. And, you know, people say, hey, money doesn't make you happy. I, look, I will say this. I've had money and I've not had money. And I would way rather have money. Is money the center of my universe? No. Money is a result of me increasing what I call human life value, right? My mindsets and my skill sets. My, the value of my life, not intrinsic value, each one of us is so valuable. Like uh, the worth of our souls is infinite, right? It is so important. And on planet Earth, right, there's kind of this food chain. The more skills that you have, the more valuable that you become, the greater leader that you are, the greater innovator and inventor, the greater artist or creator, the better business owner, right? Whatever it is that you're doing, the greater that you are, the greater capacity you have to make money. And again, what's the role of money? Look, it depends, money's going to determine like where you live and how you live and the cars you drive and the schools your children go to and the quality and the depth of how you choose to live. Now, the game is not to go compare yourselves to, say, a Steve Jobs or a Bill Gates or a Warren Buffett or, or a podcast that I listened to this morning, Ed Milet. A super wealthy dude is all about creating value. The game is not about comparing yourself to other people. And this is hard because in social media land today, right, where it's so easy to go online and we see other people, it's very easy to see, oh my gosh, I don't have a lot. Or if you have an abundant mindset, you're like, dude, I have so much. I'm so grateful. So what's the role of money? The, the role of money is simply a tool and a vehicle to help you accelerate and achieve and accomplish the things that you really want to do. That's it. Money's not good or bad. It's just a piece of paper, a, a currency, a means of exchange. That's it. It's not good or bad. In the movies, right, money's always seen as this you know, drug dealers and their huge pallets of money. But what we don't see is how much good money really does. If you know how to use it. The axe. Right? There's a scripture I remember reading growing up, and it's very familiar. You know, does the axe complain against the hand that uses it? No. Axe is just an axe. Tool is just a tool. A gun is just a gun. And money is just a piece of paper that represents value being exchanged. It's numbers inside of a computer. So I never want to get lost inside of this money game and have this confusion about money. Look, stop focusing on money and focus on creating value. How do you go make a real difference to people? How do you actually go and impact? And depending on your job in football, right? Your job is to go perform at a high level. If you're a public speaker, your job is to go perform at a high level. If your job is a school teacher, your job is to, yes, perform at a high level. Performance meaning action, right? Anytime I say performance, I mean action. And if you can do that at a high level, if you can make a difference, money comes. So what's, it, what's the role of money? the byproduct. It's the result of creating value. It's the tool. It's to make a difference. And if you want more money, don't have a story about it. Go do what's required to make more money. Increase your, your human life value. That would mean your, your skill sets, your mindsets, your tool sets, right? your ability to make a difference in the marketplace. Whether it's punching numbers into a computer, shuffling things around on a computer screen, whether it's, you know, pushing a lawnmower like again i'm sitting here in my neighborhood and there's landscapers everywhere i don't think i've ever seen anyone in my neighborhood push a lawnmower but there are people who do and it's amazing and there's people who clean pools and fountains and there's people who paint the lines on the road and then there's there's people who right the, the police officers and the firemen and like there's so many ways to create value in the world and you're going to grow and you're going to make a difference. And so here's my biggest thing for you. When it comes to money, 
don't have a story about it. If you want more money, it simply means you want the things that money would do for you. You know, like the ability to go travel into a foreign country, the ability to take your family on a great trip, the ability to write a check to donate. Like that's what you really want. So if you really want those things, then go do what's required to get more money. And what's required to get more money is you got to increase your mindset, right? The capacity to see greater than just a job or a business. Number two, you got to increase your skill set, your ability to serve people in the marketplace. And the more you can serve people in the marketplace, the more money you make. And if for some of you listening to this, if that means going back to school, then listen, trust yourself, go back to school, invest in a course, invest in a coach, go to a seminar. Recently, there was at Brigham Young University, my alma mater. We happened to be playing University of Utah this week. And like they have this thing called Education Week. Now, I've never been, but I remember playing football. And every year at the start of football camp, like thousands of people are at BYU for Education Week. And thousands of people now, tens of thousands, I'm sure, because of the ability to stream and watch things online. Like Education Week's another thing. Podcasts, books, like never stop growing. If you want more money, be great with it. There's nothing wrong with having more money. Money is the tool to help more people. It is the result of helping people. And then you've got to become a steward over your money. Like there, I could go on and on about money. But why do I share this podcast? Because some people, they just have a thing about it. And I'm here to tell you, money's not bad. Money's great. It's amazing. The things that you can do with money, the people that you can impact with money, the lives that you can touch and affect with money. And let's just, let's not beat around the bush here. Let's not like walk on eggshells. You want more money? Go create more value. You want more money? Stop making up stories about money. You want more money? Right? Change the thermostat in your life to be able to handle more zeros in the bank account and to be a great steward, meaning right, you're this caretaker over and show that you can handle the money without it letting it corrupt you, without letting it change you, which money's going to change you, by the way. It just does. Don't care what anyone says. It just makes you more of what you are. Absolutely. It changes and magnifies everything in your life. To be a great steward over over your money. And if you want more, go get it. There ain't nothing wrong with having it. Have an amazing day. If this is if, look, if the podcast is amazing, it's helping you in your life. We talk about families, we talk about money, we talk about business, we talk about spirituality and purpose. Share this, like it, leave a review for me on YouTube or SoundCloud or iTunes, and have an amazing day. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.